assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to discuss you know the last portion of this topic that is relations now the question number 12 of this is show that you know the relation defined in the set of all triangles set of all triangles by r equals to ordered pair t1 t2 that is those two triangles are related to each other through this relation or such that t1 is similar to t2 where t1 is triangle and t2 is triangle we have to show that this is the equivalent relation in a where a is a set of triangles now the second portion of this is consider three right angled triangles uh, t1 with side 3 4 5 second triangle is t2 with sides 5 12 and 13 and the third is third is a triangle with side 6 8 and 10 now we have to show prove which triangles among these three are related to each other are related to each other now here r is defined as here we have r r is defined as t1 t2 ordered pair t1 t2 such that t1 is congruent in this uh, similar to t2 now let t be any triangle in set a where a is the set of all triangles then clearly you know that t is uh, similar to t2 because every triangle is similar to itself so this means that t t belongs to r for all t belongs to a where t is a triangle that is each and every triangle is related to itself through this relation which is the similar relation hence r is a reflexive relation now let t1 and t2 be two triangles such that t1 t2 belongs to r minus t1 is related to t2 then by the definition of r t1 is similar to t2 or t2 is similar to t1 because if triangle a is similar to b it implies that triangle b is similar to a which implies that t2 t1 belongs to r so r is symmetric now let t1 t2 belongs to r t2 and t3 belongs to r so we have ordered pairs of the form of a b and b c now when t1 t2 belongs to r implies that t1 is similar to t2 and when t2 or t3 belongs to r this means that t2 is similar to t3 now t1 similar to t3 from these two statements because if triangle a is similar to b b is similar to c implies that a is similar to a is similar to triangle c which implies that when uh, t1 is similar to t2 implies that t1 t3 belongs to r so this means that r is here transitive relation now when r is transitive it is symmetric it is reflexive so this means that r is equivalence relation you know that for any two triangles triangle a and triangle b if the sides are in proportional if the sides of these two triangles are proportional then we say that the side in this uh, uh, these two triangles are similar now here for triangle t1 and for triangle t3 for triangle t1 sides are 3 4 and 5 while as for this t3 sides are 6 8 and 10 so this means that ratio of the corresponding sides because here in triangle t1 first side is 3 while as for t3 first side is 6 so this means that ratio of the corresponding sides means 3 upon 6 now 3 upon 6 is 1 by 2 4 upon 8 is 1 by 2 5 upon 10 is 1 by 2 so this means that ratio is same sides are proportional hence this t1 is similar to t3 hence we can say that t1 is similar to t3 implies that t1 t3 belongs to r now clearly you can check for triangle t1 and t2 ratios are not not same because for this we have 3 upon 5 is not equal to 4 upon 12 is not equal to 5 upon 13 similarly for t2 and t3 5 upon 6 is not equal to 12 upon 8 is not equal to 13 upon 10 so this means that only t1 and t3 are similar while as t1 is not similar to t2 and t2 is not similar to t3 so this means that t1 t2 does not belongs to r and t2 t3 does not belongs to r so these are the only two triangles among these three which are related to each other which is t1 and t2 t3 
now we have another question of this type where the question is defined as we have to show that the relation r which is defined on a set of all polygons polygons means you know the closed figures made up of the straight lines by r equals to so this means that this r under this r the ordered pair p1 p2 belongs to this if and only if p1 and p2 have same number of sides same number of sides we have to show that this is an equivalence relation and let t be the right angular triangle with side is 3 4 and 5 means the length of the sides of this right angular triangle is 3 units 4 units and 5 units you know the now we have to find you know the class equivalence class to which t is related because every equivalence relation partition is the uh, set into different or disjoint equivalence classes we have to find you know the that class to which the to this triangle right angle triangle with sides 3 4 and 5 is related or with which it belongs here a is the set of all polygons where p is the polygon and on, in this a r is defined as p1 p2 means two polygons if and only if p1 and p2 have same number of sides now let p be any polygon then number of sides of p equals to number of side is of p because p is the same poly polygon so this means that p p belongs to r hence r is reflexive now let p1 and p2 be two polygons of this a which are related to each other means p1 ordered pair p1 and p2 belongs to r when p1 p2 belongs to r implies that number of sides of p1 equals to number of sides of p2 or number of sides of p2 equals to number of sides of p1 because a equals to b implies b equals to a this means that p2 p1 belongs to r so r is symmetric now let p1 p2 belongs to r p2 p3 belongs to r from first ordered pair number of sides of p1 equals to number of sides of p2 and for second ordered pair p2 p3 number of sides of p2 equals to number of sides of p3 which implies that from these two statements these two statements number of sides of p1 equals to number of sides of p3 p3 which implies that p1 p3 belongs to r so r is transitive relation hence from this we can say that this r is equivalence relation now here we have a right angle triangle or triangle with sides 3 4 5 this means that it is um, you know that the number of sides in a triangle is 3 so this means that this triangle is related to set of all triangles or the equivalence clause is actually the set of triangles to which this belongs or to which this uh, triangle is related because the given triangle or this right angle triangle has only three sides and set of triangles means though that set of polygons having three sides so this set of triangles is the required equivalence clause now the last question of this is let r is defined means relation is defined in the set of all lines where l is the set of all lines in a plan by r equals to ordered pair l1 l2 if and only if or such that l1 is parallel to l2 we have to prove that this is equivalence relation and we have to find you know the equivalence colors to which this line y equals to 2x plus 4 is related or or where y equals to 2x plus, uh, 2x plus 4 belongs here l is the set of or a is the set of the all lines in the plane r is defined as l1 l2 such that l1 is parallel to l2 now l be any arbitrary line of this set or any arbitrary line then clearly you know that l is parallel to l means every line is parallel to itself which implies that ll belongs to r reflects you similarly if l1 l2 belongs to r means that l1 is parallel to l2 implies l2 is parallel to l1 means l2 l1 belongs to r so r is symmetric now if we have three lines of the form of l1 l2 belongs to r l2 l3 belongs to r this means that l1 is parallel to l2 l2 is parallel to l3 or l1 is parallel to l3 because if line a is parallel to line b line b is parallel to line c implies that the first line line a is parallel to the third minus line c hence r is transitive 
so this means that when r is transitive implies that this r is actually equal in a solution now here the given line is y equals to 2x plus 4 now y equals to 2x plus 4 means that its slope is 2 because coefficient of x in a linear equation is the slope of the line and you know that any two lines are parallel if and only if their slopes are identical or same so if we consider a1 as a set of all lines with slopes 2 then the form of these lines is y equals to 2x plus c because c is the you know the constant so this is the set of lines whose slope is 2 and this set is actually you know the equivalence class of this line y equals to 2x plus 4 or this line y equals to 2x 4 plus 4 is related to this class class a1 where a1 is uh, that set of you know the lines whose slope is 2 so this was all about this uh, relations inshallah from tomorrow onwards we will discuss you know the functions which is one of the most important topic so thank you